back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still watching Cal Local Time. And now we are joined over the phone by Ambassador Jamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? So, sir, as we are talking about the new smart cities and uh, the role uh, as an integral part for the nation's development, uh, can you tell us more about the importance of these new smart cities? To what extent uh, they help in solving uh, the overpopulation problem? We gave uh, birth to 25 million yes. inhabitants in the last uh, 10 years or 11 years since 2011. Yes. So this is a big challenge. We have to uh, prepare ourselves for rooms for them, for services. And here we are on the right track by establishing new cities and new uh, establishments in order to serve the Egyptians and the newcomers also. And uh, I think we are on the right track. As of uh, the project of today, which is uh, the new Mansoura, uh, I like it personally because I'm coming from this area, from Damietta. And Mansoura wasn't uh, had the chance to look to the sea. And uh, now Mansoura is, is looking at the sea on uh, uh, a wide range in uh, a very beautiful area. I used to go to it when I was young and uh, it was empty, totally empty. Now it will be uh, occupied by newcomers and uh, this will help Mansoura in order to find uh, places to live, new house system. On the, uh, on the other hand, we did not neglect establishing schools, establishing hospitals, and infrastructure, roads, telecommunication, and so on. We are uh, implementing a wide range development, uh, economic development process, and I, I am happy for this, and I hope this will continue even in, in larger scale. Yes, so uh, sir, uh, also if we talk about uh, uh, the role of the private uh, sector in uh, uh, development process and in building uh, these new smart cities uh, and also uh, the role of the civil uh, uh, society organizations. Uh, what's your take on this? Also, I am happy with this. I am happy with the meeting of the Prime Minister yesterday to draw the lines. What do we need from the private sector? Because the private sector was uh, uh, unhealthy. Uh, attacked since 1961 and uh, we have to assure any private sector investors that he is in a very good hands that we shall respect his property that we need the private sector to give its uh, uh, role in economic development so uh, it, it, it is uh, the, the, the uh, question of our today uh, development aims that we need both government investment and I, I mean public sector investment and the private sector also. Yes. Um, Mr. Ambassador, uh, also if we talk about establishing uh, new universities across the nations, now we saw that the president inaugurated the new Mansoura University. So uh, tell me more about the importance of building these uh, new universities and uh, adopting new methods of uh, education in these uh, new uh, institutions. Here is another story of success. Yes. Because we used when, in, in my generation, we used to go to Alexandria or, or Cairo University. We didn't have universities in Damietta or in Mansoura. Now we ha you have a university in every region of, of Egypt. We have in Damietta, we have in Mansoura, we have everywhere. This is good in order to settle the, uh, our students around their families and they do not have to travel long distances in order to uh, attend the, one of those universities. We are doing quite fine in this field of education also. 
Yes, uh, I'd like uh, to thank you, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant uh, Foreign Minister. Thank you uh, for being with us today. And, uh, dear viewers, we go back to our local uh, reports. And uh, the Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources, Tariq Al Mullah, stated that Egypt is exporting 8 million tons of liquefied natural gas to European markets in 2022, with 90% of the importers being European Union member states. Here is the full story. Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources Tariq Al Mullah stated that Egypt is exporting 8 million tons of liquefied natural gas to European markets in 2022, with 90% of the importers being European Union member states. The figures reflect a growth as the country exported 7 million tons of LNG to European markets in 2021 with 80% of the importers being EU countries. The value of Egypt's natural gas and LNG exports spiked from $177.2 million in 2017 to $3.9 billion in 2021 and $5.08 billion in the first eight months of 2022. The Egyptian natural gas holding company announced in September that five new gas discoveries were made in the Mediterranean and the new delta with total reserves of about 317 billion cubic feet of gas in addition to confirming reserves of 471 billion cubic feet after drilling the well in the Mediterranean. Executive Director of eGas said during the company's General Assembly that the results of the financial year 2021-2022 indicated that gas exports increased over the year by 44 percent on an annual basis as 80 shipments of liquefied natural gas were exported from the gas liquefaction plants in Etco and Damietta. Galel pointed out that two new international bids were launched to search for gas and oil, which were fully launched for the first time in a digital form through the Egyptian Exploration and Production Gateway and resulted in the assignment of three areas to any and British Petroleum Company with a total investment $278 million and signature grants of more than $29 million. And Egypt aims at doubling the value of its exports to become $100 billion per annum by rationalizing imports coupled with encouraging labor-intensive labor and strategic industries. Details follow. Egypt aims for doubling the value of its exports to become $100 billion per annum by rationalizing imports coupled with encouraging labor-intensive and strategic industries. As a start, the country targets to reach $60 billion in exports by 2025. That can be achievable as their value hit $43.6 billion in 2021 and is projected to record $50 billion in 2022. In the first eight months of the year, Egypt achieved $34.3 billion worth of exports compared to $26.8 billion during the same period in the previous one, growing by $7.5 billion. Finished groups composed 43.9% of exports value, followed by petroleum products with 